there. Subscribe to my channel. It took a lot of persuasion by Dave Hoover to get me into his lion's cage. He has what is known as a fighting act in the old Clyde Beatty tradition, in which he uses a chair, a pistol, and a whip. No, let the lash just come straight down like that. No, no, you want to, you, no, that's, 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 that's what I say. Well, well, you can do it this way. As soon as you get them on the seats, you're safe. Dave's act features nine lions and three tigers of both sexes, a mixture which makes it both unusual and very dangerous. To my relief, he brought in just two. Nero and John John. While I was in the Air Force, I picked up some lions. It was kind of a hobby. And they started eating me out of house and home. So I went on a little circus, a little one-ring circus called um, Beers and Barns. Hey, listen, that's enough. Sit down here for Papa. What's, you haven't got that much mane yet. The circus lion is better off than a zoo lion simply because they have to perform. They don't like to do that. That's what makes wild animal training dangerous. They're lazy by nature. If you give a lion a cage the size of a half a city block, you'd be very lucky to come in and find him walking. Most of the time, they'll be sleeping. In the wild state, a lion or a tiger exercises because they have to. They have to run down game or they'll starve. So actually, a circus lion is better off than, uh, say, the zoo lion, and much better off than his wild brother. Give your undivided attention, please, to the steel-bound arena. Before the act, I try not to think about anything. I'll say all lion trainers are afraid. They're afraid of their animals. If they're not, they're either fools, or if they say they're not, they're liars. By Captain Dave Hooper. might come out one day and be in a good mood and the next day might come out and be in a bad mood. But you have just a matter of seconds to do what we call read them or make up your mind whether they're in a good mood and which way they're going. So you're under a terrific amount of pressure. I weigh about 160 pounds and a, and a small lion weighs about 400 pounds. If they knock you down, you just won't get up again. You won't get out of the cage, that's all. The worst I got was in Lubbock, Texas. 1954. What had happened when the animal charged, I had a wristwatch on, and the cat took a swing at me and got his claws tangled in the expansion band, and I couldn't get loose. And I got to the door and got everything but my foot out. He was chewing on my foot like a piece of chewing gum, and every time a car would go by out on the highway, he'd bite down. So finally they got a piece of horse meat and threw it in the back of the cage, and the animal let go of me for the horse meat. I was in the hospital from the 3rd of January to the 15th or 16th of March.